and your story needs to be told. This is who you are. This is what God's created you to be. And so it's important that you understand the value that God has for creativity. The value that he has for you and for me in being creative. Because God is creative. And he made you and I creative. And we need to understand that a lot of times we don't understand that creativity is so tied to our destiny. It's tied to the way that God always has been speaking. What is in you that no one else has? You have a divine spark. You have something inside of you that nobody else has. You have something inside of you that if it is not expressed, we won't see a part of God. And you have to know that that part is so valuable to God. Have you ever thought about that your creativity can transform people around you? Because that's what God thought. And so the way that we bring in the harvest is through creativity. I will demonstrate right now, and I'm going to prophesy over you, the blonde with, yes, yeah, stand up. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany, stand up. I feel like I keep seeing this song over you. It's, it's the eye of the tiger. And, and I feel like you have this incredible passion to be like this ferocious warrior for God. And your music and your heart to like uh, to, to go out there to see things shift and change in culture, you will see that because you have the eye of the tiger. You've been given something and it's this like str the strength inside of you to see your generation changed and God is on that in your life. And I'm supposed to just right now call that out and say go after your dream and write the songs that God has already told you you're going to write and go after the, the message that's in your heart because it's going to transform so many people. Because that's, that's what you were born to be. And I just release you to come into your destiny. And I just release the sound of heaven over your life. And this is not going to be a time for holding back. And people that have influenced you to go a different way, their voice is going to be cut off because God is calling you to be a mighty warrior for Him and to know who's for you. And so I just release that over you. Give it up for. But what about what about prophesying through film? So one of my favorite films is called uh, The Elephant Man, and um, the story. And I just feel like. Your heart is a heart of compassion. Your heart is, it goes out for those who don't have a voice. The heart, he's giving you influence so that you can give influence to those that don't have influence. And kind of like change the, the perspective in which people see other people. What? God has given you like the sword of the spirit and you're like his work bring truth to people's lives and fight for what's right and you you're like the only light in the darkness and you stand out and so people like come to you for protection and safety and this is also a treasure and the treasures are hard to find which means you need to be exploring which means you're exploring god's love for people and then when, when i shine this into the light 
you can see through it, then this is, I think, your heart, like the surface of your heart, which means your love is more than heart deep. Like, it is even further than that. to lift you up and raise you up above the crowds and highlight you because you are meant to change so many people's lives. The harvest is here and guess what? You get to lead them to Christ. There's people that are in your school that this year you will lead to Christ because the, the great thing about a seed is that wherever it's planted, it will grow the same seed. And if his heart is to be a harvester, if Rory's heart is to be a harvester, then guess what? You get to reap the harvest. Yeah, come on. And who here wants to see kids get saved? 